So when I um, applied my most recent application for PhDs, I also applied to Francis Crick and Cambridge. But ultimately I chose Cambridge because of the added freedom I would have in my project. So I was gonna be, I am sponsored by um, AZ, AstraZeneca, and I was still gonna, with, with selecting Cambridge, I got to stay in the lab that I was working as, as an RA, but that also meant that I got to develop my own project. So ultimately that was one of the reasons why I chose to stay in Cambridge. And also, I mean, I'd been in Cambridge for two years prior and I had seen firsthand, you know, just how great the scientists are. I've seen firsthand how um, supportive they are of, for your career and really interact with a lot of people that are top in the field. And I really wanted to stay in that um, because I think that would have greatly accelerated my learning curve as well. For me, it was very important that I find a supervisor that I could have a very good fit with. Not just research-wise, it was also about communication. So thankfully, my then potential supervisor here agreed to have a meeting before I applied. Um, and I could see that we could really communicate well with each other. She gave me some wonderful ideas and that helped me get things rolling. But apart from your supervisor relationship or the reputation of the university, Cambridge also has a wide variety of funding opportunities, including international students like myself. And I think that was one of the most important reasons why I decided to apply here, because I was hoping that I would have a chance to go for a fully funded PhD, which is thankfully what happened. <laughs> So it was a combination of um, the supervisors I am working with here, whom I really like and whose research I really admire, but also the overall academic um, environment at Cambridge. I'm part of two departments, which is um, very nice. And um, also Cambridge in general has uh, such a range of subjects um, at highest academic level, which is very exciting. And uh, I wanted to be part of that. Uh, well, my reason for choosing Cambridge is somehow more personalized. That uh, I think I'm a, I'm a believer of uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein's philosophy. And, uh, you know, knowing that he, uh, he has learned and resided here, uh, the idea somehow inspired me to uh, work hard and to uh, follow his steps, something like this. There are not many universities in the UK who do heritage studies, because my PhD is in heritage studies, so I tried to identify the universities involved in heritage studies. Of course, Cambridge was one of them. Uh, but also I should say that the people here in the department, they really supported my project, so I thought they, they really wanted me here. Was because I searched uh, the website of my department to look for the research interest of potential supervisors, and then I discovered that the linguistic department in Cambridge actually covers a wide range of interests. And in other universities, maybe I have to go to psychology department to do this, but my background is in like English language and literature, so it might be difficult to get into a psychology department at that time.